So this is a piece of clear topaz rough. I've used my uh, 240 grit lap to shape this stone into a roundish shape, basically preforming it. And I also ground uh, the top of the stone flat, which makes it easier to glue the stone to the dot. I'll use two-part epoxy to glue the stone to the dot. And uh, this stone started out just under 30 carats before I started preforming it and shaping it. So I'm guessing that I'll most likely end up with the gemstone between five and six carats when I'm done. Uh, we'll find out. The design I am going to use uh, to cut this topaz is called the Park Lane Cut. It was created by Cal Smith. And here is what the Park Lane design looks like. I recently cut another of Cal's designs called the Kelpie Cut, and I like that design. Uh, Cal creates some very unique designs. In this case, uh, his Park Lane Cut, the design is pretty much a standard round brilliant design with a twist. Cal didn't make a table. So the final row of facets meet at a center point on top of the gemstone. This is an unusual take on a standard round design. So I'm interested to see the effect of having no table and what it, the final gemstone will look like. Here are the cutting instructions for the Park Lane Cut, which I received from the Victorian Fasteners Group, which is an awesome fastening group. I just finished going over the uh, clear topaz with my 12M lap, which is about a 1500 grit lap. It's polishing, pre-polishing up nicely, cutting nicely, no issues. I'll go over it now with a 3000 grit diamond on a bat lap, and then uh, I'll probably use the Greenway and aluminum oxide to polish it. See how that turns out. I've gone over the first row or the first tier, the bottom row here, with the 3000 grit diamond on a bat lap and you can kind of contrast and see the difference between the uh, 1500 grit and the 3000 uh, grit laps. So now I'll go over the uh, girdle and then the rest of the stone with the 3000 grit diamond on a bat lap and then I'll be ready to polish this uh, clear topaz. Okay, I finished polishing the pavilion or the bottom half of the uh, clear topaz. I was using the Greenway with aluminum oxide uh, and it was working fine until the last couple of rows and then it just wasn't working. It was leaving a couple of scra hairline scratches. So I switched back to the tin lap with aluminum oxide and that did the trick. So I'm not sure why. Sometimes laps just won't work on certain facets for some reason and it's good to have backup laps that can do the trick. So now I'll transfer this uh, stone and cut the upper half of our park lane. Okay, I finished polishing our park lane with uh, a tin lap and sodium oxide. I'm interested to see how this turns out. Now, once I take it out, uh, soak it in the acetone and take it out off the dop. Really, it's a standard round brilliant, but uh, without a table. And, uh, just want to see how that looks. So we'll see how the Park Lane looks. The Park Lane Cut is an interesting uh, gem design. It is unique in that there's no table, but other than that feature, it's basically a standard round brilliant design. I would say this design is suitable for any cutter and a brand new cutter could very well cut the Park Lane Cut as their first stone that they cut. Don't think you'll have any issues uh, with this design. I did have some issues with the topaz that I was cutting. Um, I had some polishing issues with my Greenway lap. I was getting some hairline frack scratches, but when I switched to a tin lap with aluminum oxide, I had no problems. Uh, the stone polished right up. And I was right about guesstimating the final weight of this gem which uh, weighs in at 5.43 carats, based on a starting weight of just under 30 carats. For me, a good rule of thumb is that I'll end up with about one-fifth the weight of what I start with, depending on the shape of the rough that I start with, but generally about one-fifth. It, it is interesting to see what a gem looks like with no table. I would recommend you give this design a try. And if you do cut the park lane, please drop me a note and let me know how it turns out. 
and pictures are always welcome. And as always, happy fasting, everyone. Thank you.